Hey guys, today I'm back in Polybridge and I want to try using only roads to beat World 3. Now Worlds 1 and 2 I already beat in my one wood piece challenge and I wanted to try stepping it up a bit for this video. Now roads are pretty weak and really heavy, so this is going to be quite difficult. So let's get right into it. So I headed over to the world selection menu and he selected the first level here and just got started. Now fortunately this level actually isn't too bad, so it should be good to ease into here. And normally you're supposed to build a big ramp going all the way around that plane and you want to go to the top platform. Now I realized I could probably cut it short here though and it saves me a ton of reinforcement and you see the ramp I'm starting to build up now. Now I'm getting a lot of height but I'm also getting a lot of speed horizontally and I want to try reversing that a bit and finally here you see I end up going straight up in the air. So I finally end up reinforcing that top wood piece that's just falling down and you actually see here I do go into the platform but it's just one layer too low. So to hopefully improve that I end up reinforcing a few things in the bottom like this and after that it is a little bit better I'm actually touching the top but it's just not quite getting there. So adding on some roads to hopefully get me all the way there but it's seems to be a little too heavy and I end up falling down. So I end up deciding to add some platforms to the top like this and the idea is the car is going to get caught by them but it seems to be just a little too steep and if I try extending it the plane ends up hitting into it and breaking it. So I end up just smoothing out the bottom platform to make it as good as possible and I reinforce it a little bit and you can see now I'm getting a little bit closer. So I just keep tweaking it and finally here you can see I actually managed to get all the way on the top platform and I just missed the flag. So after even more tweaking I just pull in a piece and and it finally ends up tumbling and I hit the flag. So that first level done, got the second one here and this one is way harder. So you see now I have to get this truck all the way across and it also has to dip down low enough to hit a checkpoint. And that's a big problem because you see all this reinforcement I have in the middle. And the problem with the roads is I can't reinforce in those same spots because the roads are gonna end up interfering with the truck. So I ended up just going for a dangling road here to see how it would do. And it actually didn't seem to be too bad. I got pretty far before it ended up breaking. So my next thought here was to actually stabilize the first two roads in the last last two roads and the idea of this is that it's going to create a smaller section that's dangling and hopefully make it a little bit stronger. Now unfortunately here I ended up breaking so I have to use a diamond like this but actually it wasn't really too big of a deal and you see truck gets right over it just fine but it ends up snapping that second road and I have to make that a diamond as well. But after I do that you see ends up going into the diamond and it gets way farther. It's almost all the way to the middle before it ends up breaking here. So I ended up just copying this to the other side and I was curious to see if it'd make it way better as well but it seems like the truck ends up falling a little bit earlier and the problem here I think is that the roadway is now a little too shallow and I have to make it dip down a little bit further to behave better. So I end up doing that here and you see now truck gets on it and it ends up getting to just about the same point as before when it ends up breaking. So I try lowering it even more to hopefully make it better but it seems to break a little bit earlier this time so it seems like I reached that local maximum. Now I also tried to reinforce the center of the bridge here but it broke way earlier and I think it was just all the extra weight from those roads was not doing it. So I decided to support the third road on each side to give a little bit less of a dangling section and I I figured this would probably be enough to reach all the way to the middle and get to the other side. But now I actually have to make this piece a diamond as well because it ends up getting overstressed. So I just do that here. And you see now giving it a test, it ends up breaking in about the same spot. But this time I actually forgot to lower it again. So now it should be doing a lot better. So see truck it's on it. But the problem is all the extra weight from those roads I added is now a bit of a problem because as the truck comes down, it ends up snapping the diamond. So I tried lowering the first two and that actually did seem to help the initial shock, but it's still a little too weak. And you see here, one of the legs ends of breaking. So I end up doubling up the first diamond like this. And once I have that done, see, truck actually ends up getting to its checkpoint and it gets all the way to the other side. But just before it gets on the last platform, it ends up kind of doing a wheelie and falling down. So I end up lowering that piece a bit and it helps, but it's still just not enough for it to make it stop falling. So I lowered the roadway just a little bit more. And finally here you see, truck ends up getting up it and works out fine. Now moving on here, you see I'm actually going to level seven now. And the reason for that is I thought levels three through six weren't actually that interesting, but this one I thought was pretty good. Now you see here I start out with just a dangling road but it ends up just breaking immediately <laughs> under the bus's weight. But I was thinking maybe it was the way that it fell was causing problems so I ended up trying to add in a teeter-totter mechanism here and the idea is that the bus was going to fall on it and then slowly rotate onto the bridge. That didn't really happen though but it did seem to still get that effect I wanted of it smoothing it but it still ended up just breaking it immediately and with that I ended up just deciding to go for a normal bridge here since a dangling road even if it was going to work was just going to be kind of ridiculous. So starting out here I'm trying to go for a pretty normal under support here and the way I'm doing that is just having a big arch in the bottom going all the way to the land and unfortunately because of the way this level set up I have to brace it further
further back than I would like, but actually it does seem to sort of work out here. And you notice him supporting the middle with a bunch of roads. Now I do it in a pretty inefficient way and it ends up breaking like this. But the reason I used regular roads instead of reinforced roads is that they're a little bit lighter. So if I can get away with it, it's a lot better to use those. Now I copied it over to the other side. I did some general reinforcing to help it at least hold its own weight up. And once I did that, you see it pretty much broke immediately under the bus's weight. Now I realized that adding two roads into the middle instead of just one might be better here. And it's because having two roads allows a little bit more rotation between the two halves, which means it's a little bit more stable. Now, after doing some just general reinforcing, you see here, I'm actually getting pretty far at the bus, but it reaches the middle and that's when it just gives up. So I just do some more reinforcing and you see here, it actually starts to climb this part, but as soon as it touches it, it pretty much breaks. So I lowered it just a little bit. And after that, the bus actually got pretty far on it, but now the right side's actually a little too weak. So I ended up copying over what I did to the left side again, and I used two more pieces in the middle. But the problem is once I added those back in, they weren't in the exact same configuration and ended up breaking. Now I tried out a few different things here. You see, I tried biasing it to the one side and it actually seemed to work really well. It got all the way on the right side and that's when it ended up breaking. So I just used a few more reinforcing pieces on that side. And once I did that, bus ended up getting all the way over and that beat the level. So three, seven done, next one's three, eight. And this is my solution to the level using a single road piece. I have a video on this if you wanna check that out. But the idea is the taxi needs to get all the way over to the right and the top and the truck needs to get all the way over to the left and the top. Now in order to do this, I'm gonna need some sort of crossing roadways, which is gonna be a little tricky to do when I only have roads. So I just start out here. And what I wanna do is just build a very simple bridge on the bottom, cause I'm gonna need that anyway to hold both the taxi and the truck. So I just start out here with that and I didn't really brace it too well. So it just immediately broke. But I realized the left side looked a little bit better than the right side. So I ended up just copying that over and using a single road piece in the middle. And once I do that, it seems to hold itself up just fine and gets all the way over. But now we need a way to get it up. And my original thought was to use some sort of teeter totter mechanism. And I was gonna have the truck hold it up so that the car can get all the way to the top, but the truck's still gonna be easily able to push it out of the way. Now here I actually balanced it a little bit too well and it was actually not coming down enough. So I'd add some more weights to the left, but I added it too many. So then I had to add some more to the right. And finally here, once I did that, it actually came down just about right, but the taxi ended up coming into it before it settled down and it ended up breaking it. So I tried adding in some road pieces, hopefully delay it a little bit, but the problem is they ended up just infinitely stalling the taxi instead of just stopping it or they just broke the bridge. But I realized just putting in two road pieces to the front like this created quite the challenge for the taxi. It took quite a while for it to get all the way over. And once it did, it was pretty well settled. Now, the problem is it still ended up just instantly shattering once I hit the truck. And I had a better idea instead that was a lot simpler here. I realized I could just use a dangling road like this. And you see the taxi gets on it. It ends up stressing it out quite a bit, but it ends up getting all the way up it and getting all the way over. And you might wonder how I'm going to get the truck through this. But I remembered this level actually is a hydraulic controller. So I could just set some split joints so that once the taxi gets to the flag and ends up just dropping the dangling road and the truck should just be able to get across just fine. So you see here, taxi gets all the way across, hits its flag and the whole road falls down, meaning now the truck can get across and all I have to do is get the truck on top. And this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the level. So starting out here, my first thought was to use some sort of structure with a trap door to allow the taxi to pass under it, but then it'll create a roadway for the truck to get on top. Now the reinforced road is a little bit too heavy. So I had to switch to a normal road, but it was still too heavy. So I had to create a smoother roadway on the bottom and this ended up allowing the taxi to get across, but this is way too steep for the truck and it can't even get over it at all. So I had to extend it out a bit and to do that, I have to use this triangle shape to brace it against the land. But now it's just way too heavy for the taxi to push and I'm not really getting anywhere. So what I was thinking of doing was adding some under supports here and using a counterbalance system to hopefully help the taxi a little bit on this. But it ended up being too heavy and it just broke my structure. So I had to delete it and I ended up going for an over support instead. And this actually ended up breaking it as well. But this time you see the taxi was able to get under it. So what I did is just reinforce the back a little bit more. And now when I try to run the taxi through it, it actually does sort of work, but then it ends up breaking too early. And I realized here, if I delete a single road piece, it ends up getting under it just fine and ends up not shattering when it hits the bottom. But when it comes back down again, it does end up breaking, but it breaks in a way that almost seems to be better. But the truck ends up hitting it at a weird angle and that causes some problems. But it ends up raising the roadway up just a little bit for the truck. And you see here, it gets this front wheel over and it just needs that back wheel. So I ended up raising it up a little bit more. And after that, taxi just barely gets under it. After that, hits its dangling road, dangling road falls down, 
truck gets across, gets on its little pathway, back wheel just gets on it and hits its flag. So with that one done, next one here is 3.9. And this one is really tricky because it pretty much requires springs. You see here, I have to get the Vespa across the top, hits its two checkpoints, but the truck also needs to get across and it's two checkpoints far lower. And in order to do this normally, you have to use springs. So I ended up deleting everything here. And my first idea was to use a sort of ramp system to hopefully catch both checkpoints at once. And I could hopefully use one roadway for both cars. Now, when I was planning this out here, I didn't really think it through too much. And you see, it's just way too steep for the Vespa to get across efficiently. So it ends up just hitting the wall and stopping. So I lower it down a little bit more and this helps, but you see, it still ends up just not getting there. So adding some more road pieces like this to hopefully smooth it out a little bit more. And this actually did seem to help a lot. You see, the Vespa gets a lot closer, but it still ends up just breaking as soon as it hits that wall. So I lowered it just a little bit more as well. And you see here, it actually does start to get over it. And I raised up the entire platform a little bit more because I realized I'm probably wasting a little bit of energy by doing that. And you see here, Vespa gets across and it almost hits its star, but it's off by just a little bit. So I ended up raising the roadway up a little bit and it got way closer, but it's still quite far off and raising it up anymore and ends up just stalling. So I added in some more roads like this. And the idea here is to make it even smoother to get a more efficient transfer. But now it's still just not quite getting there. It didn't seem to help out all that much. So I ended up adding some more roadways to the right side as well. And doing this ends up causing a big problem because you see here, the whole thing ends up just shattering under the weight. Now I ended up changing a lot of the reinforced roads out for regular roads. And I ended up adding some diamonds in for support. And it was so close to hitting the star, but it was still off just by a little bit. Now to get a little bit more speed, what I was thinking of doing was adding in a little bit of a ramp for the Vespa to get up at first. And hopefully that little extra bit of height would give it all the power it needed to get to the star. But it didn't seem to actually help that much. And I think the problem is that the extra height it gets is pretty much equal to the amount of speed it would get anyway, just naturally going across that platform. So it didn't really help out. And after quite a bit of optimization, I ended up deciding to scrap that. And I have another idea instead that I thought would work out a little bit better. So what I'm going for here is another one of my teeter-totter mechanisms. And you see here, it holds itself up for a little bit, but then it ends up falling down. So I have to reinforce a little bit better, but you see here, Vespa goes across and the truck's actually holding it up right now. So it ends up hitting its checkpoint and you see it start falling. And I can use this falling to allow another roadway to appear. And that's the one the truck's gonna ride across and it's gonna be able to hit its checkpoint. And you see there, I extended it out and the Vespa actually hit its checkpoint. And I ended up copying it over to the other side just temporarily to figure out what sort of range I would need. After that, I ended up deleting the one on the right side and I tried reinforcing this middle platform just on the rock. Once I did that, you can see here, Vespa gets across just fine, hits the middle checkpoint, right away on the left falls down entirely. And now all I need to do is get the one on the right. And I thought for sure this would probably just work. And you see now, Vespa goes across, goes over to the middle, tries to go over to the right, but now it's starting to fall and it actually falls a little too early and the Vespa just doesn't get there. So I tried adding some more roads here and adding more weight, I was hoping would make it fall a little bit slower. And originally it was actually too much stress and ended up breaking, but even after reinforcing it, it ended up not really working and adding on some more weights made it fall even earlier. So I reverted to what I had before and instead I made it fall in a little bit of a different way. And once I did that, you see here, it actually doesn't get across, but it raises up at the end. And I can use this raising up motion to allow another road on the bottom to catch it so that it can get all the way to its flag. Now you see there, once I got it put in place, it was caught, but it was just a little too low. So I raised up that roadway a bit. And once I had that, Vespa got across just fine. And all I have to do is make a roadway for the big truck to get across. Now I started out just by making the first node for the truck to ride across. Once I had that, I just started making up the roadway like this. And then I just started bracing it. Fortunately, the bracing was actually pretty easy here because it was a pretty short length of road. So it wasn't too bad. And you see now, truck gets across just fine. And it ends up reaching its checkpoint quite comfortably and easily enough gets over because it has a ton of power. Now with that done, just have to make the second roadway. And it's basically the exact same thing, except for some reason it ended up being a little bit more annoying to tune. But you see here, after just a couple tries, Vespa gets across. And after that, truck gets across as well. Hits the second checkpoint. And with that, level completion. Now moving on here, we got another really tricky level. Now 311 here, you see I have to get two trucks across like this and I'm using a bunch of springs and I have a bunch of random supports above them. So it's going to be a little tricky, but I wanted to start out just by using the normal ramps I have and see any problems as they arise. So just starting out here, just made the first ramp out of road and seemed to work out just fine. The truck actually was a little bit higher than it was supposed to be, but that's easy enough to just limit. Now with that done, second ramp here, pretty much the exact same idea. I'm actually using the rocks for support right now, but they seem to work just fine. 
fine. And I'm just getting all those roads in place like this and I'm testing it out and you see works out just fine. Ends up breaking, but it doesn't really matter. Truck gets across, hits this flag. So with that done, I just have to work on this next ramp here. And you see, this is not very difficult. Just have to replace the four pieces. And with that, truck gets across again. And this ramp is where problems start to arise. I have really no way to support this right now because if I try to support it on the bottom, it's going to block the truck on the bottom. But if I try to support it on the top, it's going to block the truck trying to go over the ramp. So what I ended up doing is deleting that really small ramp and I make it a lot bigger. Now what I want to do is make the truck on the right go all the way to the top platform. And by doing that, it's going to allow me to brace to the bottom platform without having to worry about anything. So I ended up just doing some basic bracing like this and the truck ended up breaking it a lot. But after just some rough changes, you see here, truck on the right ends up going all the way up the ramp and depending on the top platform. And once that was done, it gets almost all the way to the end. And once I had that, next thing I need to do is make that middle ramp. Now I can finally brace to the bottom here and you see pretty easily end up getting all the way over to the right. I ended up breaking the ramp in the process, but it ends up working out just fine. And now all I have to worry about is this truck trying to get over to the left. And in order to support it, I can't make it go off the bottom. But what I can do is use one of these teeter-totter platforms and it holds up for just long enough that the truck goes a little bit further. And by extending it out just a little bit further, I just barely avoid being over budget fully. But you see here, two trucks get across. They just barely miss a ton of stuff and they end up breaking a lot too, but doesn't really matter because they both hit their flags and beat the level. Now with that done, I just have one last level here and I end up skipping 312 because I really wanted to try this level out. Now you see here, I have the Model T get all the way to the top and I have the van get all the way over to the bottom. Now I need some way of making the Model T go over to the top. And my first thought was just building a simple roadway on the bottom. And what I want to do is make a sort of lever mechanism so that once the Model T gets over on it, it's going to flip up and hopefully go all the way over and allow the Model T to hit its flag. Now starting out, I ended up forgetting to reinforce that first bridge, but you see here, it ends up stopping on its platform. And now I should be able to make something happen. So I ended up waiting the platform a bit and you see here, it ends up starting to move up, but it gets stopped and it's because it hits the rocks. And I'm gonna abuse something here where if you make split joints, they're able to go through terrain. And you can see now it's raising up a lot higher. So after I do that, I ended up just bracing it to hold it in place until the Model T gets in place. And once I do that, see here, it starts to flip up and Model T gets some height. Now it needs a lot more power. So what I ended up doing here was add in some bunch more roads to the left. And once I have that, Model T gets across and it really starts to flip up. But the Model T starts to roll down, which is a little bit of a problem. So what I do is add on a little lip and this lip stops the Model T from rolling and it actually gets a little bit higher up, but it's still just not quite there. So I ended up changing some of the reinforced roads to roads so it wouldn't break as easily. And once I did that, you see I also added on a catch and this actually helps a lot. The Model T gets almost all the way to the top, but it just doesn't quite end up getting there. So my solution here is to move the lip a little bit further to the right. And once I did this, you see the Model T just misses its checkpoint. But if I move it in a little bit more, you see it does hit it. And now it's a lot higher up when it flips over. And once I do that, it actually gets really close to hitting its flag. So the next thing I did here is actually just change out the catch to make it a little bit steeper and now it rolls down just fine you see there ends up going across and looks pretty good but the catch is actually blocking the van from getting across and what i wanted to do is change out one of these roads for a diamond but in this case instead of making it stronger it's gonna make it a lot weaker and you see here the model t gets across but as the van hits it that diamond ends up breaking and that allows the model t to actually break the catch and get across fully so with all that done here are the final results so guys thanks for watching this is definitely a really fun series and i'm really glad i got to continue it in this video so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And otherwise, until next time.